Whenever you think of hyperthyroidism, you think of Graves' disease. So one of the most important causes that we need to know about when it comes to thyroiditis is going to be Hashimoto's. Okay, Hashimoto's. Now traditionally when you say thyroiditis, what is the eventual problem that's going to happen because of it? Hypothyroidism, right? Not hyper, hypothyroidism. Whenever you think of hyperthyroidism, you think of Graves' disease. You don't think of thyroiditis because thyroiditis essentially is telling you there's inflammation and destruction of the thyroid gland. If you destroy your thyroid gland, you're not going to get hyperthyroidism, you're going to get hypothyroidism. But in countries where your iodine is not deficient because you have iodized salt, you should think of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is a type of autoimmune. It is an autoimmune thyroiditis, meaning your body is producing autoantibodies against your thyroid gland and going to go destroy it. But important thing is you have autoimmune destruction of your thyroid gland. Do we know if a patient presents to you initially with a patient with Hashimoto's, I told you they're going to cause hypothyroidism, right? What kind of symptoms are they going to present with? Hyperthyroidism. But initially, when you're going to go destroy the gland, you're going to get hyperthyroidism. You're right. Because when you go destroy your gland, do you already have preformed thyroid hormones? Yes, you do. So you will spill all those thyroid hormones into the blood. So the first thing that's always going to happen in most of your, thyroid, most of your thyroiditis patients is going to be a hyperthyroid state, which is going to be transient. So typically, initially, what they're going to present is going to be with thyroid elevation symptoms. Okay. So much so, you can actually call it Hashitoxicosis. Like thyrotoxicosis, you call it Hashitoxicosis because of Hashimoto's. But initial feature is going to be a hyperthyroid state, which means what kind of symptom would you have? You'll be tachycardic, you'll be having excessive sweating, you'll have weight loss, you'll be having fatigue, right? Increased GI motility. All your hyperthyroid symptoms are going to be present, but not hyperthyroid symptoms, which is very unique. Two graves, which is eyes and pretibial myxedema. You don't see that anywhere else other than graves. So when I say hyperthyroid, you'll have all the features except your typical eye findings and pretibial myxedema finding that you'll see with graves. So initially, you present with a hyperthyroid state.